Well, welcome everybody. We're making a, one of our newest flavors, blueberry cheesecake. It's kind of late at night. We're making candy. I asked the girls, what would you like to make tonight? And they said, let's make blueberry cheesecake. So join me as we make some blueberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Starting off with our blue stripe here. We're gonna do three blue stripes instead of just two. So we're gonna have a little bit larger mouth than usual. Of course, the big piece here is gonna be the flavored part. We'll also get our lavender stripe out of here, but the majority of this will be white and that will be the flavored part of the candy. Use my big scissors here, cut off just a little bit more. And now we're gonna add some color to it. Get adding a little bit of sky blue, no flavor whatsoever, just some color here. Just gonna add a little bit of coloring there. This is a paste food color. Like I say, no flavor whatsoever, that is just the color only. So we're just going to fold this in here a few times until we get the color all mixed in. Then we'll take it over the heater and start to work with our next stripe, which will be lavender. And then we'll add, just add some flavor. This is after hours tonight, it is kind of late, so no crowd tonight. So we're just making it just the family and I, making some ribbon. So now we're gonna do our darker blue stripe. So we're gonna add a little color to that. And it's close to baseball season, so we're gonna call it Dodger Blue. Just like that, looks like black, but it is actually blue, no flavor whatsoever, just the color only. So now we'll fold this in. Keep stacking up this big piece here so we can keep it nice and warm, just trying to keep it all in the same temperature. So when it gets to the table, we can pull it out nice and even. And mom is over here babysitting, <laughs> the best babysitter in town. All right, so we've got our color just about mixed in here now darker blue. So now we're going to take that over the table and keep it nice and warm over here. All right, so now remember this big piece is going to be the white part, also the flavored part. So we're going to add a little bit of flavor here. Remember we're making blueberry cheesecake. So I'm going to add a little bit of blueberry flavor, just like that. A little cheese. And a little cake. The secret ingredient. Mm -mm. I smell it already. We're gonna mix that in just like we did the color. And then in just a couple minutes here, we'll show you how we're gonna turn this part nice and white. Now remember when I poured this on the table, it was a little bit over 320 degrees. It is still quite warm, probably about 190, 185 degrees or so. Gonna mix that flavor in a bit, then we'll put it on the hook and show you how we're gonna turn it nice and white. All right, so we've got our flavor all mixed in. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, big candy cane for this. No, I just came. Now we're going to take it over the hook and we're going to show you how we're going to turn it nice and white. Here we go. So we're doing two things here on the hook. Number one, we're adding a little bit of air to the candy cane. Also the stretching of the sugar crystal and that's what causes the candy cane to turn nice and white. You can see with each and every pull it gets a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. Very similar to the way you would whip egg whites at home or stretch out a rubber band, how the color lines up a little bit. And we're just going to keep pulling until we get the right color white we're looking for. It smells so good. Mm -hmm, it does smell good. I'm going to actually take it back over to the table here. I see a little bit of flavor spilled out. So we're going to see if we can pick a little bit of that up. Pick a little bit of that flavor up. And we'll take it right back to the hook and finish our stretching. This is the part of the job we call Jerry's Gym, also known as my <laughs> holiday health spa. That way I don't have to go to the gym this time of year. Okay, I don't go to the gym any time of the year. This is my workout right here. This is it. All right, so you can see now we're just about done. It's much, much wider than it was. We're just about done. Just about one or two more pulls, and we'll take it over the heater and put it all together. One, two, and over the heater we go. Ooh, pretty, pretty white. Look at that beautiful white. All right, so we've got our stripes in front of the heater here. We're gonna start cutting them up here. We're gonna cut up our lighter blue, which will be our outside stripe and the center stripe. I've got my darker blue and lavender over there. 
going to count the white into four pieces. We just need to put a little white in between each color to keep them separated so the colors don't run together. So number one, number two, and number three. It is still quite warm, but it is also getting much, much cooler or thicker. So we'll start out with our center stripe here. two pieces of white on the outside of that, just like so. Then we're going to take our lavender stripe and cut that one right down the middle. Put one of those on each side of the center stripe here. And that's our normal stripe, which is just like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to add one more stripe here giving a darker blue. Add a little bit of white on the outside there. A little bit of white on the outside there. And we'll take our darker blue here. Kind of a navy blue almost. And we're going to put one of those on each side of the stripe cutter also. So one there. And one there. So now we have this huge road of wide stripe. I'm going to attempt to stretch it out. You can see all the different blues on there. Lighter blue in the middle, two lavender blues, and the darker ones on the outside. Mom's got the blob. Taking care of it well. <laughs> So now we've got our block, we're going to put it on our stripe here. So now we've got the stripe on the one side of the block. I'm going to pull that up and around on the other side here. So now we have both sides of the block all nice and striped there. Put that back under the heater here. I'm going to pull out our outside edge stripe, also the tip stripe of the ribbon. And stretch out a bit. And then we're just going to stretch out around right around the outside here. Just like that. Up she goes. Turtle shell. Mm -hmm. Put it back under the heater here. It is a little on the cold side because we have all these extra colors in here. I'm gonna start to stretch out. Ooh, the colors look very pretty, I can tell already. Stretching it out here. This is normally the part we have to turn off the film to go to the sampling, but I don't think we can do that. Voila! She's number one. Looks like the ocean. <laughs> Alright, you can see now we have the stripes just the way we want them. Got our darker colors on the outside, some lighter colors in the middle. And boy, does it look good. And boy, does it taste good. Remember, this is our newest flavor of the season. Hopefully, we'll be adding at least one more before Christmas time. Blueberry cheesecake is quite delicious.